All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to a new tutorial. Um, in this one, I've been watching Black Sails recently, so I'm kind of in a pirate mood. So today, what we're going to try to accomplish is modeling this, a flintlock pistol. Um, it's going to require quite a bit of modeling. Uh, we have some pretty complex parts over here uh, that are, are going to require turbo smooth and subdivision. We have a lot of organic. Uh, shapes, which is something that you don't see too much in my videos, but I'll try to do my best. Uh, you can Google uh, this image, just any flintlock pistol will do. I'm going to base mine off this one. Um, and so, with that being said, let's begin. So, I'm going to move this over to my other monitor. And let's see here. So let's begin by making a plane in our front viewport here. Give it one length and one height. Now we're going to make this plane the same size as our image. So that's going to be 1152. Oops, sorry, make that 890 by 1152. Okay, so now we have kind of a long uh, box right here. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do is press M to go into our material editor and create a standard material and the diffuse color standard bitmap navigate to your projects folder and select uh, the picture just drag it over and hit show shaded material in the viewport okay f3 uh, to toggle that on g to get rid of the grid and now we have a basic representation of our uh, pistol here. So uh, let's just start modeling. I guess the easiest thing to start with would be the cylinder of the actual uh, gun here, or the barrel. So let's just make that. Press E. Uh, press A for angle snap and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Bring it back and Maybe we shrink it down just a bit. I'm in inches here, but uh, we're just kind of modeling based off the um, image. Okay. Press Control Alt Q. That's the hotkey I have set up for convert to editable poly. I'd suggest if you watch a lot of my videos that you follow along and do that as well. All right. Uh, next, let's select this here and rotate it. Turn off angle snap. We just want to get it to where uh, it's straight across the top here. Okay, there we go. And let's see, that is pretty much going to be the barrel. Just trying to flesh out some of the major shapes here. Oops, sorry. All right, let's shift, drag, hold shift and drag this down. Okay. And we're going to want to press R and simply scale it down. We're trying to make the ramrod here now. Press W and bring it right to here. R and scale it just a bit outward. Okay. Control Alt Q. Press 1 for the vertex sub, sub object mode. And bring it just like so. Okay. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do here is just work on the end of this ramrod. So we're going to use our bevel and just kind of bevel it manually. Okay, and we're just trying to follow along with this right here. All right, there we go. That's all we need. And press 1 and simply you know, drag it right to about there. It's going to go inside, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, next, let's hide uh, that, hide selection. We can work on whatever this piece is right here. So I look at our image here. It seems to be, it comes down from the barrel, and it's hinged. So uh, I'm just going to have that open on the other screen while I model it. So the first thing I want to do is make a box. Okay, 
and about that wide. I'm just trying to look at, look at here as reference. So actually, let's uh, get out of that. Unhide all. So our ramrod is going to be about where it needs to be placed. So let's uh, go right there. We're going to actually make this a bit thicker. So increase the height to about uh, five inches should do. Okay. Hide our selection again. And let's bring this up. Control Alt Q to convert to editable poly. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. Right there seems good. Now what we're going to do is simply work on extruding our shape. So extrude, 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 and one more. Okay. Um, go into our vertex sub-object sub mode here. Let's go into shaded. All right. And just work on positioning uh, positioning our points here. So we're trying to we're trying to get a curved shape. All right, and that's going to be right about here. And here, a little bit down, and finally this one right about here okay now what we're going to want to do is go in our back and extrude this a few times one two three for now push one for the vertex subject mode w to move and position these in place all right I'm just trying to even out the mesh here to keep it as smooth as possible. And that's something you should always try to do. That way it uh, comes out a little better in the end. All right. And let me th see this for a second. OK. And we're going to do uh, two more extrudes, one and two. OK. So go in here and press W and let's simply try to line it up here um, it's a little difficult to see but we'll make do so it goes there there and this kind of comes up a little bit See, this is the bottom, that little white piece. And there we go. All right. Um, now that we've got that, let's uh, click this edge here. Shift click the other edge. That's something I recently learned. It's a pretty handy trick. That is the same as the ring. Oops, sorry about that. Let's just increase the slide here. Okay. Apply a turbo smooth. And one should be enough for this. Um, let's see. Yep, that should be fine. So next, let's go to our cylinders here. And with auto grid turned on, uh, simply make a cylinder right in the end here. OK, and let's make another one slightly bigger over here okay hide selection just make sure these are about where we want them placed maybe a bit farther down and that one looks pretty good okay unhide all uh, next what we're going to want to do is create this uh, little piece here on our ramrod so let's simply take this and actually, Control Alt Q, convert it to an editable poly. Go into press number four, which goes into our uh, polygon mode, 
and simply drag it over. All right, because this is going to go all the way through the ramrod. And we're going to want to move it slightly down. So press W and just drag it right till it's centered. There we go. And as for this, we can press R, or sorry, E. Uh, make sure angle snap is turned off and just center it. Doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. Okay, there we go. Uh, next, let's select this purple piece here. Uh, hold shift and drag it. Okay. And now that we've got that, press 1 and just drag it in a little bit until it just um, is a little bit bigger than the ramrod. Alright, there we go. Now let's press R to scale this one. Oops, Control Z. Select the whole piece here and press R to scale it up until it's about the size we need. All right, and that looks uh, pretty good. Okay. Now, when looking at it from the side, you can see it's got a kind of flat uh, side right there. So we're going to do that. So push one. Select four of these, R, and simply scale them in like that. Press F3. Select the other ones on the other side, and scale them in as well. Now we've got a very similar shape as to the uh, one in the picture. Okay. So next what we're going to want to do is... Ah, okay. So we're a bit big here. So select our entire piece and simply scale it in to right about there. Okay. Now push 1 and select all four of these and scale them down just so they're a bit closer okay push two click one edge click another shift click connect with two and increase the pinch a bit and lastly apply a turbo smooth modifier all right that will be perfect. Maybe increase the size just a bit more. Alright. Uh, now what we can do is select our piece right here and just bring it in till it's almost touching. Alright, that should be perfect. Let's select uh, this piece right here, push uh, 4 for polygon, select both these polygons here, bevel, and you're going to want to give them an ever so slight bevel, just like that, okay? And then you can inset them once more. Apply a turbo smooth to that just to even it out. And then we can simply drag it to where it needs to be. So it just barely pokes out of the surface like that. All right. Uh, next, what we're going to need to do is click this and copy it over to the other side. So about the same distance. There we go. Now you can see it looks like we're a bit offset here. So control click till we gather all of our pieces and just line it up to the center with that line. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Uh, next what we're going to do, we're actually going to delete this, well, no, click the purple one here and shift drag it over. Okay. And just align it to about the center of this right here. Now delete the green one, or er, nope, press R and scale this one down so it's about the same size okay that'll work and then delete the green one this is just so we don't have to repeat ourselves twice 
what we already did. All right, so you can see here that our ramrod is actually, or this piece here, is a bit too small. So we have to increase the size until it comes out. And make sure it comes out on both sides. So you can look in our top viewport here. And let's actually hide our main barrel. And let's see. So here's the piece, and we need to let's center oops, center this one up. It moved when we scaled it. All right, there we go. Now it's centered, and that looks pretty good to me. So let's click that. All right. That should do fine. So click this and realign this. Make sure you're in the move. And there we go. Just give it a little bit of a gap between the two. All right, click this and this. And realign both those till just so they stick out a little ways. Not too far though. All right, and there we go. Now we've got uh, that piece more or less completed. Now it looks like, uh, just on a ramrod, I'm seeing that we have a different material for this uh, head of it. So we're going to um, select this right here. We're going to connect and simply drag it forward to right about here. Okay. I've also noticed that it looks like this piece actually kind of flares out a bit more than we have it. So let's increase like that and press W, move these in just a bit. Uh, click these, press R, scale them in because it kind of flares outward almost. There we go. And lastly, what we can do is select our polygons here, extrude, oops, uh, select all the polygons, extrude, change this to local normal, and you can make them ever so slightly bigger. All right, there we go. And you'll see it'll create kind of a gap right there. Next, we can a turbo smooth to that and we can see how it looks so we need a little bit more editing so edge connect press W and simply drag this line over right to there select these connect and drag this one over to here now reapply a turbo smooth and you see we have that little that fine line right there which determines uh, one end from the other all right so I think we need to go in here and click this edge shift click this edge and let's connect we have two segments here just bring the pinch out quite a bit okay Click and click just so we can uh, shore up that. Oh, actually, well, click, let's see, Control Z, these few right here, and go into our front view, push R, and simply well, move these. Just like so. All right, and then move this one back over here. It was uh, making our thing not very smooth. All right, that's looking much better. 
actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do it that way. Control Z, all that. All right, get back to what we initially had. Um, select those. Control click on the polygons here. Go into the front view and deselect those ones. Deselect, deselect, and get these ones as well. Next, what we're going to want to do is just inset it a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Now we've got rid of our issue uh, without any trouble. All right. Looks good. Next, let's build a... Well, actually, we'll just use this cylinder again. Um, let's first go over here and select these and just bring them in. Alt W to maximize the viewport. And just realign them. That way when you turbo smooth them, it uh, is lined up correctly. Alright, there we go. So we are making progress here on this front piece. And we're just going to take it step by step the whole way. So click this, go to our editable poly, select uh, these polygons, control click on the vertices. All right, in our top view here, push R, and we're going to scale these out. Okay, so what we're trying to do is make kind of a, a lump, if you will, on the edge of those, because you can see in this one, it's kind of lumped out, almost like a rivet. All right, edit to a poly, click those polygons, inset, give them one little inset here, and scale it down, control click, and just pop it out a bit. There we go, nice and smooth. All right, next what we're gonna wanna do is Pardon me. Let's take this one right here. Press W, shift, drag it until it aligns. Okay. And you can actually use the align button. Click there. And then you know, align on X, Y, and Z. Now it'll be perfectly aligned. Now what we're going to do with this is... Let's see, what are we going to do with this? Push R, scale it inward just a bit, and actually let's drag it right to here. Okay. Push 1, and drag these down. Okay. And of course, make sure you save your project uh, to your project folder here. We don't want to lose any of what we've done. Alright, there we go. So next, let's uh, go into our left hand view and we need to select all of these. Okay. We're just going to simply drag them up just like that. That'll kind of create a flat face. Alright. Unhide all. Now you can see, let's actually hide that, blow it up, so you can see we have that entire mechanism uh, done right there. It actually looks really nice, I have to admit. Alright, uh, here simply edge, connect, and just drag it over to the one side over there, just so that way our turbo smooth doesn't uh, kill it. Alright, and that looks pretty good for that section. So, unhide all, F3 again. Now I'm going to want to make this little, uh, whoa. That's kind of weird. 
we have a glitch of sorts. All right, there we go. Um, so let's make this little top piece. So let's build a sphere and make it just the length. Press E, rotate it. Press A for angle snap, rotate it 90 degrees. Push R and simply extend it. And let's extend it outward a bit. Press W and just move it down. Scale it up just a bit more. And let's scale it inward a bit because that's currently way too fat. All right. And well, maybe a bit more, a bit fatter than that. There we go. That should work. Um, next, let's click on our pistol here and just shift drag it so that way we have a copy you can just drag it off to the side I have mine back here or in front doesn't matter uh, we're gonna need that for later so in our editable poly here let's click this right here now, I'm not sure but these barrels are generally pretty thick so let's give it a generous inset like so extrude and we're simply going to extrude it way back into the barrel here okay uh, extrude it once more and this time we're going to give it just a tiny extrusion just enough so that the turbo smooth doesn't screw it up okay click here shift click connect two segments and bring the pinch out. This will give us a slightly rounded barrel. Okay, click, click, connect with one segment and bring that segment forward over here. Zoom in and just get it pretty close. There we go. And lastly, what we're going to want to do is select these right here, connect and bring this connection as close to the end as we can get it there we go apply turbo smooth and now we have a nice smooth barrel that we can work with on the back you can see we need to add an extra polygon so simply click this inset and just give it a nice inset like that so it doesn't get mad at us there we go and there is the barrel of our uh, of our pistol. Now you can see we can actually see a little bit of this through here. So let's push F3 to go into our wireframe and go to our turbo smooth here. R, just bring it like that. W and bring it below to where you can't see it in the barrel. So I'm just looking right here. You can see you can't see it at all. There we go. Now our turbo smooth is working again and everything is happy. Perfect. So uh, next let's work on the main uh, body, I guess. All right. So let's see how do we want to do this. I guess we'll start with a box and we'll just build one like so. Okay. Go into our top view here. And let's convert this to an editable poly. Push one and extend it just beyond the edges here. All right, that should do nicely. Now what we're going to want to do is kind of cut a shape out of it so let's go into our front view here uh, connect two connections all right and 
push R and let's uh, shift or sh control click the vertices and scale them out just like that okay and take these and let's see how we're gonna want to do this I wish we had a front view so I could see the contours of this but unfortunately we don't so let's connect them one more time control click push R to scale it out and let's grab these and drag them down okay that should work and let's actually apply a turbo smooth you see what I'm trying to do is contour it to the edge here of our gun um, let's see next let's click one here and click both these right here and just drag them up alright I'm thinking it kinda goes outward a bit so press R and scale these out just a bit okay and click these two bring it up and these two have to be the bottom which is going to be right here okay and this one actually is going to be a bit higher over here the hardest part about this is just going to be getting it started uh, once we get it started it's going to be a lot easier to work with this shape so let's connect all right, push one and drag these down right here. So I believe we've got multiple things selected. All right, yes, I got the entire bottom piece selected. And that's fine. All right, so let's click this edge and this edge. Bring it down, press R, and scale it out just a bit. All right, click and shift click. Connect it once. Okay. Push one and make sure you round it out. And go up here and round this one out as well do the same on the other side so rotate it click shift click connect push one alt W to maximize and bring it up okay take this and bring it out a little bit there we go okay so take this and press F3 and select all the polygons on the front area here and then extrude and actually I selected the wrong side you want to go over here alright extrude and simply extrude them out until the edge right there all right, perfect. And then select these ones right here and simply drag them up. All right, you're trying to keep them all aligned too. You don't want them to float around here. So we've got different polygons. Uh, this one. Drag that up. Go into our turbo smooth and just see how it looks. And that's not actually half bad. So let's uh, 
click those polygons one more time, extrude, and just give it a very soft extrude like that. That'll give it a kind of a cap on the end, right, which will be nice and flat, and that's what we're looking for. So go back to your editable poly here, and let's simply extrude, or we need to click F3, select all the back facing pieces here. So select all the back pieces. Extrude it, and we're going to want to extrude it a pretty decent amount. All right, so I was distracted with a Skype call, so carrying on with our awesome pistol. So we're going to simply extrude this, extrude, and click the plus button to give us a few more extrusions here. Let's turn our turbo smooth on just to see what we're working with. All right, and that actually looks really good. Uh, we're gonna have to work on this edge right here, though. I think. Let me find our image. Yeah, no, that should be fine, actually. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So let's go to our editable poly here, and for now we can. Hide selection. Oops. Don't want to move that. Select all of this and hide selection. So we're just left with this area right here. That way we can work on making it good. So let's go into our vertex sub object mode here and selecting. see here. I'm going to go with the bottom two. These are the ones we're going to move. We're just going to try to align it to where it needs to be. Let's get a little bit higher here because we're going to have a shell. Just like so. All right, coming along nicely so far. All right, let's go put our turbo smooth on. See what it looks like. All right, looking really good. So let's keep on trucking. Uh, we're gonna get to a little bit harder part here when we have to kind of shoot up, but we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. So I'll go back to our polygon, extrude, and add just that many. Okay, go to our vertices here, and simply drag them into place. All right, um, that looks good. Now, what's gonna happen is we have a kind of a curve uh, in this, so we can see where it curves right here. So we're gonna have to try to create something like that. Um, before we get much further. Actually, I think it'll be easier to do that in the end. So we'll we'll just carry on. We're going to actually save this right now just in case it decides to not work out. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to make this I'm trying to see where it actually curves up cuz right here is where we have maximum height. We're going to put it here, extrude right here, 
And we're going to take these. So these are all our topmost polygons. And we're just going to kind of drag them up like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is take uh, the inside ones right here and just drag those up, push R, and scale them to make them flat. And just align them like so. Now, unhide all. Okay, we're going to try to make this align uh, almost to the barrel. So, let's select all these and all these. Oops, and drag them down. Press R. You know, scale them inward a bit. And wow, that just happened. Okay, so what we're going to need here is a bit more geometry. So select all these edges, connect. All right, and let's select the vertices right in here. Press W and just bring them up a bit there we go we're getting a little more uh, definition hmm. just trying to think about how I want to go about this This is pretty much just a flat block of wood. So let's bring these over here. Bring this to here. And bring it straight up like that. All right. Drag these a bit this way. And let's put these a little closer. Okay. Go into our polygon and extrude this outward. Just like that. And then give it one more just so we can check what we've got. Unhide all. And for some reason, we cannot hide this plane. Oh, there we go. Hide it. So make it solid again. And let's see how it looks. So that looks actually fairly decent. I just have to work on the edges here. We have far too many edges. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, maybe we don't want to do it this way. All right, let's delete all of that, all of our hard work. And. Hmm. undo a lot of stuff. Okay. So I think we saved this. So let's open Flintlock Pistol version 2. So now we're right back where we started. Just that was exactly why I saved it. And let's go here. Press W and bring it right to here extrude. Okay, now we're going to try the other way of doing it. So, let's select all the internal polygons here. And we get, now oh, this should be it, 
extrude. Okay. Next, unhide all. Now that we have this piece, let's maneuver it in place. So just drag them all into position. All right, Alt W and let's see how that turned out. Well, it kind of worked. Well, maybe, maybe it kind of worked. I think we do need this last little bit right here. So let's undo the extrude, click our editable poly, go into our polygon selection, and simply select these as well. Extrude up. Okay. Now let's go into our front viewport unhide all to our vertex sub-object mode and let's repeat the process that we just did all right and just kind of mesh them meld them in much better much better okay now what we're going to want to do is connect this and just give it a connection right to about here. This will help increase that and connect Bring it right to about here. I'll give it a nice defined edge. And now you can see kind of what we've done. So we have our edges very nicely connected. And I'm actually going to stop uh, it right here, and we're going to continue on with part two. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.